In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get started with the Pagescope tool and do things like view landing pages on over 50 different mobile devices. You can click through on links just as if you were using that phone in real time and test your CRO and calls to action on your landing pages. So you can see we're already on the Pagescope tab that we've clicked up here at the top, or you can go to the sidebar nav and click Pagescope over here. We've landed on the live testing tab, and you can see there's three tabs at the top, just like the SERP Raider, live testing, dashboard, and saved reports. And we've gone ahead and chosen a country, a URL, and we've selected up to two devices to view our amazon.com landing page on. You can see we've chosen iPhone 8 Plus and our Google Pixel 3, and we've clicked run test already to view our Amazon landing page. See that this is fully functional just as if you were on the phone in real time. You can go and click through on different products, or if you want to click on sign in, you'll, you can see that both of these phones are fully functional uh, just as if you were using them. You can add the to cart, you can test your calls to action. Down below the phone here, you can use the back refresh and forward buttons just as if you were using them on your browser. Also, you can save these tests as a screenshot uh, whenever you'd like to as well. If you see something interesting or if you need to get a certain screenshot to a developer to, to give them proof that there was some bug or an issue uh, that was viewing on the landing page. You can also share this on social media as well. So next we can go over to the dashboard and the dashboard allows you to save screenshots over time automatically. So we've already gone in and set up some URLs, some countries and devices. Uh, you can do this by adding them one at a time or uploading a CSV full of URLs within your particular accounts uh, subscription limits. So once you do so, you can see I've already added amazon.com. I've ran that in the country, United States, and on the iPhone 8 Plus. You can see this in action down below here for our landing page has a saved screenshot. Um, something to note here is these aren't saved screenshots, so you're not able to click through on them. But you can see if your calls to action are cut off on a certain phone, um, etc. The other functionality within the dashboard is looking at your executed source code, your source code without JavaScript, uh, a diff checker between the two, your schema, and your HTML tags. So here you can see we've, we've already clicked on the executed source code, and you can scroll through to see if there's any interesting findings um, in regards to SEO or general code uh, and rendering. Your source code without JavaScript will just remove all of your script tags here and will look fairly similar to your executed JavaScript. And the diff checker will highlight all of your script tags um, within that source code. Next up we have our schema. So if there was any JSON-LD, RDFA, or microdata schema on your page, uh, this would show up. Amazon doesn't have any, so nothing showing up there. And then your HTML tags. So your title, your meta description, content type, OG tagging, on-page robots, viewport, canonical URL, AMP link, PWA at manifest, and finally your heading tags on that specific page. If you wanted to since this is a report that's run over time and we've chosen to do this on a monthly basis, this will take the screenshot once a month. If you wanted to see what it looked like in real time, uh, you could just click run live test and it'll take you back to the live testing page. This report has been running for a certain number of months here. So you can see that I have a bunch of archived screenshots that you can easily select here uh, to go over. So that's the general functionality behind our PagerScope, and that will help you get started.